High Hoops is a night that welcomes all nationalities, genders, sexualities and races to one dance floor. We wanted to try and create an inclusive dance floor and showcase musicians that we were inspired by. So this is where it all started four years ago. And uh, the Roadhouse. Who would have thought that we had like Marcel Jefferson and DJ Sprinkles like both perform here like for our first event? Yeah, Manchester debut of DJ Sprinkles in here. It's something that like I'll remember forever. It was listening to her music for years and my dad <laughs> when your dad turned up going for it on the dance floor behind Marshall Jefferson <laughs> he loved it like he used to like put parties on back in the day and it was yeah he was like super proud of us yeah. <laughs> when my dad was organizing parties in the late 80s in Belfast obviously it was a pretty troubled time um, and I guess the idea was to have a place where Catholics and Protestants could kind of forget about the tensions and go to a place together and listen to music. Um, and I guess I absorbed some of that and that's probably influenced the kind of ethos of High Hoops. This is our first poster for our um, event in 2015. The artwork is a still from the movie Paris is Burning, which is a movie, a documentary movie about the Vogue ballroom scene in New York. And it was about, you know, these safe spaces where LGBT people and people of colour could come and feel safe. So that image of Octavia has kind of merged over the years to actually become our logo. The Vogue is, a, is something that's become quite important in, in terms of our night as well, because it's a fundamental part of the underground house scene. At a number of our nights, we have Vogas from a group called House of Decay and they've performed at a number of our parties. The night that they actually performed with Mood to Swing and the whole stage got invaded by the, by the audience. Yeah. There was like 50 people on stage like dancing with the Vogas, it was, it was amazing. So it's always really important for us to get feedback from people that will come to our night so that the night represents the community where we operate. It'd be cool to, I guess, understand like what your perception is of like high hoops. Um, so I think maybe yeah, like workshops or something might be like a good thing to think about, and just sort of make connections that way. I think that would be like really special for people. I think. I am intrigued about. That. I think just keeping it with the diversity of bookings and like keep booking people of colour, women. As like a young DJ, it is actually like a pretty massive thing to play for you guys. Whereas yeah. I feel like a lot of promoters wouldn't take that risk. From day one, I think it's been really an important aspect of High Hoops to kind of support local Manchester DJs. Um, we, there's such a raft of talent in the city. Starting High Hoops has kind of opened up quite a number of like doors and new avenues for us. Two summers ago, we were um, asked to kind of bring the High Hoops brand to a festival in Croatia and do a DJ set. We'd never really touched decks before. We kind of just like threw ourselves in the deep end with it, hired a studio and then uh, started practicing. Yeah, maybe some advice that we would give to, I don't know, an aspiring promoter would be definitely to just kind of go for it. What are you going for? That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we've definitely programmed some of our nights in the past through picking up records and finding then, new genres, finding new, new artists, finding yeah. new labels. Yeah. One of the nice ways to, to learn about new people and bring new people to, I guess, Manchester is, is through, through buying their records, buying their music. Through collecting and listening to music, we've done collaboration with Rush Hour Records. And it's definitely one of our kind of favourite parties that we've ever done. It was pretty overwhelming because we sort of went from hosting parties for like maybe 300, 400 people. There was like a thousand people queuing outside to come in. That gave us the confidence, you know, that we could do pretty much whatever we wanted to. And it was amazing to have that opportunity. I guess what we would have kind of loved to do with High Hoops next is maybe do some parties overseas. We've talked about starting our own festival for the past few years, so maybe one day we'll, we'll make that happen. Yeah, watch this space and, you know, hopefully we'll see you on the dance floor soon.